Welcome to this presentation from the Wisconsin First Detector Network. This video was adapted from a Wisconsin First Detector Network training session. In this video, you'll hear Brian Huddleston from the Plant Disease Diagnostic Clinic talk about aster yellows. Aster yellows is another one that we, we see here in the state all the time. What's really interesting about this story is, is technically you could eradicate this from the state if you watch for the symptoms and dug out the plants and destroy them. But we have a constant chance of reintroduction because this survives in the southern United States and then has moved, the organism has moved into our area by leafhoppers, in particular the aster leafhopper. And that again feeds on a lot of different types of plants. This organism is technically called a phytoplasm. It's a bacterium-like organism. Can in fact, on the order of three to four hundred different species, and, uh, and that's in like 40, roughly 40 plant families. We see it a lot in plants in the aster family, and you know, marigolds, where you can get this kind of yellowing foliage, and yellow foliage is very typical for this disease. This next slide happens to be cosmos. You can hardly tell, but if you look right here, you can actually see the remains of one of the flowers, what the organism does once it gets in, causes a lot of yellowing, a lot of growth distortion, which you can see in this particular photo. And then it tends to cause the flowers to become very leafy and green. So you basically don't get a flower that's functional for reproduction. Another example of this here on purple cone flower, which is a native, and that one gets these very leafy green flowers. The ray flowers become very strappy and green. And then you can also get production of kind of a secondary cluster of flowers, which is called a broom. Sometimes you'll get curly cues sort of symptoms. This is also a vegetable pathogen. What you tend to see on carrot is a stunted root, which is a healthy one on the left, one with the phytoplasma here, stunted root with these little hairy roots that pop up on the surface. It's very, very typical. And then on potato, if you're growing potatoes, when you get it in that particular host, you start to see purpling foliage and production of aerial tubers, so tubers on the branches rather than below ground. Kind of an interesting disease. But again, a pathogen that includes ornamentals, vegetables, or native plants, it just has a huge host range. And this is how you get a hold of me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this video from the Wisconsin First Detector Network. To learn more about our network or to access additional information about invasive species in Wisconsin, please visit our website or contact us.